What's up guys, George Lahoff here, and today I'm going to show you how you can calibrate your Maslow CNC machine. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure you actually download the latest version of ground control software for the Maslow, and then download that to your Arduino. This is going to be the first step between you do any calibration or any work with your Maslow, make sure you have the latest software updates. After you push that update, go ahead and start up ground control, and we're going to actually go to actions, and then click calibrate machine dimensions. And now we can begin the entire calibration process. To start off, we're actually going to turn the sprockets until one of the tooth faces straight up to the 12 o'clock position. This will allow all of our measurements to become that much more accurate. After we set that to zero, we can now use the left chain to measure the distance between the two motors. We're going to take that left chain and attach it to the top tooth of the left motor, and then we're going to extend the chain until it can actually reach the sprocket of the right motor. Once it reaches, we're going to attach it to the top tooth of that right motor, just so it's hanging on. And then we're going to click pull chain tight on the software, which will let the motors pull that chain tight and take the measurement. Once it's tightened, go ahead and hit that measure button on the software. So now we're going to take the chain off of the right motor, and we're going to put it through the brackets on the router sled. I'm going to use the cotter pins to hold this in place, and now I'm going to count the number of spaces in the chain between the two brackets. This will allow the software to understand how the brackets on the motor are actually angled and spread apart. For reference, my value is 35 spaces between the two brackets. The next step is actually to detach the chain from the brackets on the motor sled and then retract the left chain until it's actually in line with the top of the plywood on the left side, as shown by this yellow line here. At this point, the Maslow machine has now taken all the measurements it needs to raise the router to the center of the plywood. So the next step, we're actually going to extend the chains on the left and right motors. For the right motor, you actually have to take the chain and attach it to the left tooth of the sprocket. And then when you click extend right chain in the software, you actually have five seconds to extend the chain, allowing you to add some tension on the end of the chain so it doesn't get wrapped up with the sprocket. The machine will extend the chains far enough to allow you to attach them to the brackets on the router sled. And then when you click next, it's actually going to raise the router sled to the center of the plywood. After the router sled is raised to the center of the plywood, the next step is for those of you who have the Z-axis motor, which I recommend for everybody, by the way. We're going to lower and raise the end mill in the center of it until it's flush against the wood, and therefore we can set our zero point. The next step, we're actually going to choose if we have the quadrilateral or triangular sled design. Mine's a quadrilateral, so I'm going to choose that one. And we're actually going to do some test cuts on the plywood that we're going to measure and then enter those values into the software and then recut the test pattern until we meet the tolerance of about 0.5 millimeters of a difference. Once we meet that criteria, we're finished with the calibration process. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and like below. If you guys have any questions at all, go ahead and comment below. I'll try to get back to every single one of you guys. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, guys.